Greetings, friends and fiends of Louisville. Rodamont here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid, King of Louisville, Episode 8, Bookworming. For me, the biggest trouble of, uh, of cooperative or multiplayer games is the time it takes to collaborate. Like, I've done them, um, but the amount of time and organization adds a lot of overhead, which then monopolizes my time in a way that viewers, like I said in the survey that, that I had, you know, hundreds of people fill out, um, overwhelmingly said I shouldn't do. And it makes sense, because doing collaborations can be really messy. I enjoy them, but I just don't have the time for them. Oh, and thank you for the resub, by the way. I should spell out names with zombie bodies. Yeah, but zombies decay. Is there a stress meter for your character? Um, stress, no. But, like, there are other meters, like panic, which is similar to stress. Or nervous. Or Yeah, I mean, there there's a bunch of different mood modals that are, like, quote-unquote stress. And you do have to manage the mood. You can slip into a depression. You can become bored. And all these have consequences. Oh, there's the secure storage. Oh. Alright, there's quite a few around me, though. Pet the dogs. Right now? With a swarm around me? Okay. That won't end well. <laughs> I kind of wish that there was a button you could click to toggle the roof of buildings, because I know there's a swarm right here on the left side. Not a swarm, but like a cluster. But I don't get to see that cluster until I get closer. There we go. That worked. I like the implication that my character snuck up to them and whispered at them. But then somehow, the act of whispering at them panicked him. Like he got regret or something. <laughs> right? Because he's pretty panicked right now. It's like, no, I meant to aggro them. That's what I wanted to do, buddy. Alright, looking good. Sort of another large group I think we're going to be able to get in here. Oh, yep. How do I... Yeah, there we go. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's start searching the uh, facilities. So for that... Grab the old sledgehammer. This, uh, this area that I'm in right now is actually relatively secure. This fence gate is the only way in and out, as far as I could tell. Which means this wouldn't be an awful place to have a base. Oh, no, that's not true, because this door and two windows can be compromised through this door. Or, and two windows. There's two windows there. Well, it's, it's, it's fairly secure. I can hear the arcades going off. Well, the obviously there's not uh not a not a generator in there. Someone's man cave. Divorcee cave. A fresh oh that's not even a fresh shovel. Panic uh, decreases with duration survived. 
So if you survive a very long time in Zomboid, uh, you become less panicable. And I have a generator. Well, that was fast. Man, Louie, you are like the king of luck. I don't even have luck skill. All right, let's put that uh, sludgy away. It's a, honestly a an atrociously terrible uh, melee weapon. And uh, take this generator. Check the rest. No, I'm I'm here for a generator. I found what I want came for. I ain't gonna stick around for more. Uh, you know, to piss people off. I'm just. I got what I wanted. What I do want, actually, is uh, a little bit more water. I know there, there's a water cooler there, but I'm just going to fill up my... Uh, fill up my water bottles in the toilet. Totally normal things to do, by the way. Question for y'all, uh, what to do next? Spend a day reading books, find videotapes at a local store, um, level, yeah, um, level up electrical to move a stove into the loft. Uh, Secure a good condition car, secure a gas station, or, oops, I spelled station wrong, or other viewer suggestions. That's a pretty good list, I think. What should Lewis do next? You guys, you guys vote. Hope there aren't too many zombies down this way. Although I've already cleared out the beer and liquor place, so I doubt there are going to be swarms. Oh, hi, key to this car that's next to me. Dear Lord. Am I the key master? Wait, it's not even to this car? What? Maybe it's to this blue one. There is no key master, there is only Zul. No, it's not to this one. Uh, I picked up a Nyla key and I have no idea what Nyla it belongs to. Okay. Well. I'll find it eventually, probably. Is Radwipe the gatekeeper? <laughs> I guess so, in this analogy. I wouldn't mind having two generators at some point so that I can maintain one and also keep the power on, but uh, whatever, this is a pretty good start. Let's go read that generator magazine, shall we? And then maybe dump some fuel in it so that I can turn it on in a pinch. In fact, I, because it doesn't take very long, I'm gonna read all the magazines I've obtained that I have not yet read, just so that I know not to pick copies up.
Okay, looks like you guys want me to spend a day reading books. Read some books. Oh yeah. I can get behind that. Learn me up some, some good books. Uh, I'm going to pull all the magazines out and maybe start organizing them. Just so that I can have my lovely reference magazine shelf at some point. Pretty good amount of uh, reading material I already have. But yeah, here would be one of the gas cans that I'm going to use to fuel up the, uh, the generator. I think I only have the one. But I'm not... Oh, fresh eggs. Hey, that needs to go in the freezer. And the mayo is already stale. Uh, let's try to freeze that too. Guess I wasn't too careful about what needed to be frozen or not. It's funny, in real life, I would never, ever, ever freeze eggs. I can't imagine how gross that would be. But for Louie here, he don't care. Frozen eggs? He's like, yeah, that sounds good. The zombie health bars is part of the combat text mod that, uh, that I have in my mods list. Okay, all those magazines are red. The potatoes took priority? True. Um, and also, you know, I had like... 100 pounds of potatoes, so that will help carry me for a while. I'm going to move this generator to um, actually the center of this building because generators uh, generate power and provide power uh, around it in kind of a, a sphere. But obviously, I don't need to turn it on until I lose power. So, I have it, but uh, I can keep it dormant. Or off dormant. Why well, use big words when small words work? Okay. So, it is book reading time. Now, let's figure out what I want to read first. Probably electrical and carpentry would be the big ones. Electrical so that um, one of the requirements of moving stoves and stuff like that is like washer machines and, and dryers is to have electrical three. Also, mechanics one and electrical two, or is it mechanics two and electrical one? I always forget. Uh, allows you to hotwire cars. So mechanics, electrical, and carpentry are probably the big ones to get in terms of reading. And I would say carpentry first because um, at this moment, the bottleneck for Louis here is plumbing. And it's hypothetically possible to plumb without carpentry. It's just much more annoying. So the way to do it is to build or obtain rain barrels. Rain barrels are way easier to build in my opinion than to obtain. There's only a few rain barrels that exist in the game, and you have to know where they are, and none of them are all that close to me as far as I know. So, uh, so Louis is absolutely... Uh, do I have the... Oh, okay, Carpenter. I already have Carpenter. I was like, did I not pick up Carpenter Volume 2? You know I did. It's just, I'm literally holding it. It's two mech, one electrical. Thanks. I knew it was one of two and two of the other. I happen to be a slow reader, so this is going to take a little while. Is there a way to auto sanitize water? Yes. Uh, you can plumb. Plumbing stuff in Zomboid. Uh, sterilizes water with magic. And it's very effective. And I will almost certainly get to that point in this series because uh, that's the direction I'm headed now. Let's put the sledgehammer away. I, I don't really need the sledgehammer. Oh, yeah, I have two sledgehammers. I don't need two sledgehammers. Wait. 
Would a chair not be more comfortable to read? Um, you can't s sit in in Zomboid. It, sitting is a myth. <laughs> there is no sitting. There is only standing. Right now, my weight is dropping, so I'm going to eat some junk food to keep it up. Because I'm also hungry. Eat some chips. There's no concept of comfort in Zomboid, so... Whether you're sitting on the ground or sitting in a chair it makes no difference to your character. The only comfort that matters is the quality of the bed. Eat the stale mail? That's not a terrible idea. So, updating the priority. Uh, oh, no, it's already updated it. Let's go get that stale mail. You know, I could absolutely cook it into something nice. Uh, but where's the fun in that? I'm just going to eat it. Stale and frozen. I'm not going to do stale and frozen. That sounds like a mental break. Could I make potato salad? I absolutely could. Will I? No. Uh, Louis is ascetic and lazy. <laughs> mm. Mail. <laughs> Uh, so what should Louie do next? Do you want me to read more books? Or do you want me to do something else? If you want more books, vote for it. If you want something else, well, vote for something else. The poll is up. So Carpentry 2 is done. Uh, I did say Electrical and it would be good. I've already read Partial Electrical 1. Mechanics would be another one good to read. So I'm going to grab that book too. And then tailoring. Actually, maybe even tailoring over mechanics. I really, really want a tailor. Uh, I have a tailor trait. That's how much I wanted a tailor in this game. Because I feel like on Apocalypse Difficulty, uh, you really... Tailoring can give you a freebie. A freebie attack from a zombie. One. Once. And then your clothing is ruined if you tailor well. So, that's why I think tailoring is so clutch. Because... If you tailor up your clothing so that you're, like, scratch-proof and almost bright-proof, it might save your life. Because tailoring at high levels is amazing like that. So I have the... I have Fast Learner, and I also have Sewer, uh, so I should be able to level up my tailoring extraordinarily fast, so it's not so boring and grindy like it can be. And electrical is red. So now that electrical is red, I could go to places that have a lot of, like, dryers or clothing washers or, you know, just things that have things to dismantle. Electrical things or, like, TVs, etc. And uh, grind my electrical that way. Uh... Don't I use TV XP? I, I would if I had tapes. I don't have any tapes. And nobody's been voting for me to go get tapes. That would be option number two on the poll. Wow. I scarfed those potatoes. Really? Two... Two baked potatoes in a microwave, and you're still hungry, dude? Maybe there's something left in the carpentry show? Um, it's way past. The TV is not airing shows anymore. Uh, so read and then level up electrical. Do I have the builder or whatever it's called to craft? 
Uh, I don't know what you mean, but I'm guessing no. My traits uh, are listed so that you can see them in the title and in the commands. But I'm not exactly sure what you mean. So electrical is fully uh, red. And I think what I need to do now is to figure out uh, where is a good... Oh, you know what? I live right next to a really good place to level up electrical. So I'll head there uh, just after this book is done. Or actually, I'm going to head there now. I'm never going to be able to, to close that door without trouble. So all I really need to do is to make sure that I have my screwdriver on me. Yep. And let's go. The crowbar might break if I run into too much trouble. So there's a computer office and a laundromat not not too far by. Are laundromats metalworking? Eh, whatever. Ooh. Scary. But like, um... Dismantling computers is pretty good electrical work. I st I'm starting, of course, with the, uh, the wall clock. And because I'm indoors... Let me make sure I'm wearing my indoor gear. A.K.A. High Armor. So these office computers that I think are pretty clutch. So right now my uh, XP for electrical is 5.5. So we'll see after one computer how much it goes. Am I going to use guns at some point? Uh, yeah. Alright, so that got me 10 experience. Thereabouts. Ooh. Do I have water in here? I do. Lovely. Oh, I hear some uh, Zeds. Whoa! You were closer than I thought. Squish. So this is where I wanted to be, where all these computers are. Oh, uh, the channel point redemption for Yodacam is frozen. Let me undo that. Lady, are you running from me? Actually, before I stay in here, yeah, let's go kill these four. You don't really want to hole up in a building with uh, a large group nearby, so it doesn't take a lot of noise for them to wander in and screw you up. Or, in other words, it's way easier to fight zombies on open streets than in tight quarters. I can also start dismantling wristwatches. They're boring, but convenient. I don't collect them like other players do, because the amount of experience you get off individual wristwatches is pretty terrible. You need hundreds of them to significantly level up your electrical, uh, which is why I don't collect them, but, uh, but here. My, right now my electrical is 19.8, or 19.1, and it's now 21.1, so three experience, and that's with the book read and fast learner. So with significant boosts to it. And dog treats. 
Hey, buddy. So the really juicy ones to dismantle are uh, like TVs, computers, that kind of stuff. I'm trying to uh, actually look at the wiki right now to find the the experience. Oh, here we go. And then also to make your own radio equipment and then dismantle radio equipment. Do I need wood? No, nah, not right now, no. Look at that experience roll in. I'm almost set to level one. Hey, Nox, thank you for the sub, the resub. Did I finish the electrical book? I did, yes. That's why I'm getting all the juicy XP. The pawn shop I was in um, had TVs in it. I could head there. That I already know without having to like look at the PZ map. Is that pawn shop had a bunch of TVs in the uh, southeast deck section? So that could be a, a next destination. And I really only need me electrical up to three. There's not not much beyond level three that matters to a long term survivor like myself. trying to multitask and look oh there's also an arcade not too far not too far away uh the only issue with the arcade is um it could be pretty jam-packed full of zombies so it's not as soft as a target as i'd ideally want I hate bathrooms like this. As long as they're empty, I guess. Yep, just keep breaking things, dude. doesn't matter. I'm not actually here for the electrical components. Just the experience. Uh, did the idiot me not bring snacks? Okay, I did not bring snacks. Oh, hi, pawn shop. You have some zombies around you. Unfortunately, I don't have a sledgehammer on me to go into that locked room. Well, maybe at some future trip, I'll uh, I'll make the effort to pop open that uh, the room that I didn't enter into. Do you have a TV and VCR from home? Oh, I already have a TV at home. Antique one, too. At some point, maybe I'll get myself like a nice uh, high-tech widescreen 
plasma, whatever. I guess it was what plasmas in this day and age. But I'm not going to save one now. Because they're heavy. There was a sledgehammer in the pawn shop? Oh, perfect. That'll work. Getting a little late in the day. LCDs, you think? Oh, they were definitely not LCDs in the 90s. Plasmas predate LCDs, as odd as that sounds. Um, or at least for commercial purposes, or, you know, residential purposes. Uh... Do I need new boots? Yeah, you know what? Let's switch. My boots were kind of worn out from stomping on zombies' heads. Uh, maybe your country was different. All I know is, like... You know, the... Rich people that I knew growing up had the large plasmas, but, I, you know, LCD tech was not a thing until much later. Someone could Google it when, like, when that, oh yeah, there's the sledgehammer. When uh, LCDs started to be introduced. Yeah, the plasmas existed, but they were super expensive. Yep. Yes, indeed. Uh, let me bring up the map so I know where I'm going. It is... Oh, and I'm not wearing my armor, am I? Yeah, it's in this room. This is 1993. Google says 1988 for the first LCDs. Yeah, I'm not talking about the first LCDs. I'm talking when was it common to see, uh, not when it was invented, right? Because those two things are very, very different. I'll just take all the ammo. Came all this way. I like how that uh, that safe there is like imaginary it's like not even an object that i can interact with oh man running out of water oh speaking of water Cheers. Drinks on crimson. Right, just looking around. If I ever uh, need to stay warm, there is warm clothing here, I guess. There's balaclavas and uh, padded clothing. Uh, if I'm taking weapons, I'll take the shotgun, shotgun gels. Last time I was here, I was kind of in a rush, and I didn't spend the time I could have to, uh, to scour proper. So it's nice to be back. I suppose I can also, uh, dismantle the lamps, too. Uh, apparently this lamp is cosmetic or something. I can't even right-click it. 
Alright, let's get home. The emergency broadcast number is 944. And I already have a radio tuned at home for it. I think there's zombies upstairs. I was coming in here because I hear the growling. But uh, there's no one in here. Look at that hair thing. For perms. Whatever that thing's called. Time to go back to the Jetsons. How do you learn how to make... Oh, hi there. You found me. To make explosives? Um... There are some magazines that can help you with making explosives, but there's not a lot of explosives that you're even able to make. There's like smoke bombs and Molotovs. But nothing that really goes boom. Uh, question, what to do tomorrow? check if the apartment complex across the street... Well, there is the um, the payphone bank. That's right here. And of course, there'd be TVs in most of the apartments, but that's a, a very high effort, low reward place to... Uh, to go for TVs. Yeah, there there are like hairspray bombs and pipe bombs and stuff. They they really um they really don't work that well. The game is not well optimized for volumetric damage. Nanomachio, thank you for the Risa. Okay, that was relatively successful. Just gonna dump everything I got in. Bullets included. No nuking all the zombies? Nope. There's, there are ways to deal with, like, high-volume zombie killing, like, fire. But it's a, it's a double-edged sword. Or flame, in this case where it can easily cause more damage to you than it can do to the zombies. So, it's generally... There are ways to make it safe, but not so much in a, uh, in a city. The ways to make it a fire a little bit more effective in Zomboid is to, like, set zombies on fire in like an open parking lot or an empty field where you can just walk and have them follow you in circles so they don't catch anything else on fire until they burn out. But in a big city like this, they would just catch every building on fire and the whole, all of Louisville would burn. And there'd be basically no way to stop it. TLDR, it's a really, really, really stupid idea. Like, like, catastrophically stupid. And that's why I'm not going to do it. All right, looks like we're going videotape hunting. Cool. Cheers. See if we can't accelerate our learning with some tapes. Um, this one has us going a bit further from home. So let me mark it down. Uh, we have already searched there. So the videotape store is... Uh, is here. That's the closest one. As you can see, it's um, it's more of a drive, less of a walk. 
Because if I walked there, I'd have to, like, get there and turn home. So... Uh, if I'm headed to the videotape store, we need a running car. I think. Which is fine. Get a running, reliable car, and then head to the tape. Head to bids. Can you actually burn buildings down? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everything in this game burns. Brick burns, stone burns, wood burns, everything burns. There's nothing that isn't flammable. Except for, like, water. So, uh... So yeah, if you, if you set a zombie on fire outside of this base right now and they walked into this apartment complex, the whole apartment complex would just burn. It wouldn't collapse, but everything inside of it would just turn to ash. And all that would be left would be, like, piles of ash. Uh, it's it's really a super destructive. Which is why I, I don't play with fire most of the time. I didn't quite finish that tailoring book, but we got pretty close. I might want a backup book for something to read once I'm done with tailoring. Maybe Mechanics 1? Because if I'm ever in a situation where I have downtime, I might as well use it productively. Wow. Like Ten hours of sleep? Okay, man. Guess you were running around and killing zombies, but that's a lot of sleep. Yeah, that's my food for the day. I pack a weird lunch. Check if uh, antique TVs can even play VHS. Uh, they can't. So I'm going to have to get myself a proper TV. Good thinking. Uh, in terms of a running car, we're going to want a tire pump. We're going to want... It's too bad I haven't read mechanics beforehand. We're going to want that jack I found. I'm going to need to probably siphon some gasoline. Um, my guess is it's going to be the moving van. That's going to be the... Uh, the vehicle choice because that moving van looked in pretty good condition so i've got the jack uh what am i missing i'm missing the lug wrench whatever that is nothing in here is organized as you can tell i don't believe i have any gas uh on me so out we go So, bad run. Uh, my priorities are determined by popular vote, not by comment. So, if you want for me to do something specific, like go grab a bunch of groceries before the power goes out, it'll have to be uh, voted on. I'm also completely not worried about running out of food. It's like nowhere even remotely on my radar of worries. Because this is Louisville. It's full of food. <laughs> like, like, to a ridiculous degree. Oh, cool. This, uh, the station wagon has gasoline. That's convenient. In fact, how about this? Uh, what should I do next? Oof. Like a type. Yeah. You can vote on what I do tomorrow now. And I added your suggestion at the bottom there. That's not a lot of gasoline to get me to hit bids in, in back. Maybe some of the other vehicles out here have 
gas. Nope, nope, nope. Is this not a car? Oh, there it is. Siphon. Cool. Oh, wow. All of these cars have like a little bit of gas in it. Very lucky. Well, this one doesn't, but whatever. I almost have a full can. That's uh, way more than I thought I would have. Plus, a lot of the other vehicles around me still have gasoline, including the starter van. Morgs go. Thank you for the uh, the compliment. I appreciate it. Need more beta block? It might be possible to go over to the uh, the vet clinic uh, that's just kind of across the street for some beta blockers. And if not there, you know, there's obviously other places as well. The old van has gasoline and I'm going to siphon from that too, yeah. Oh, yep, this one has gas. A little bit. Oh, a tiny bit. Would leveling up uh, mechanics be to be put in the next poll? Uh, I wouldn't put that on the poll because there's not a lot of driving that Louie needs to do, so it's not important. Driving in a big city, most most points of interest are that I need to get to are walkable. So driving is just a is like a once a week kind of thing. So having spending time this early. Uh, to level it up doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Because I'm out of running water. Uh, I don't have a way to cook my food. You know, like, I have a lot of other more urgent, more pressing needs than, uh, than I can fix a car that I'm not going to use. If you think of uh, the hierarchy of needs. Let's go out to the blue van. Every car has gasoline in it? I mean, technically, but like, fumes. Like, I got 0.67 liters, or I don't even know what the units are. 0.67 units of gas from all those cars. Oh, speaking of beta blockers, there we go. That dude had a whole lot. Uh. Okay, I can't get to the gas tank. I'm going to actually leave the gas in the van alone, because if I need to bail quickly, it's not bad to have a van with gas next to the base. This is a gassed up hertz. Nope. The capacity of the can, uh, it's still pretty empty. But the van, the van definitely has enough gasoline to get me there and back. I now have like a quarter tank or third tank. Oh, almost half a tank. All right, I want to be going west or northwest. Picking up on a road and then heading southeast. It looks like you guys want me to work on electrical for tomorrow. Got it. Uh, let me close that poll.
Nope, that's fenced in. The total amount of units that the gas can holds is five. So I'm guessing it's gallons. Like a five gallon gas can. It's kind of typical. Okay, take a right here and then drive down to hit bids. What's weird is weight is in kilograms, but I think the um, the speedometer reads miles per hour. It's in tiny font, but I can read it. It says miles per hour, so some of the game is in imperial, some is in metric. It's like Canada, I guess. All right, there's a lot more zombies on this stretch than I thought there'd be. This might be a little tricky. Because this is like a thou shall not pass quantity of zombies. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid King of Louisville, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 26th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodomot.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you'd like to join my gaming community, Rodomot.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow zombie slayers.